uh, for a while I was on that where I was just like, like, dude, I'm done. Like that kid is so trash. To think that winning is endless is foolish. No, no, no. You work to keep winning endless, but very few people can actually sustain it. What's up, everyone? This is Tony, and welcome back to the TLZ podcast. Um, before we get started today, I do want to remind everyone to please click the like button and the subscribe button down below to show some support for the channel. It is greatly appreciated. And also, you know, keep in mind that we do still have the online physical training class offered by Coach Leia and myself. We do create the plans by uh, ourselves every single class. So definitely make sure to uh, check that out. Email us or DM me uh, in my DM, in my <laughs> Instagram or my email down in the description. Uh, so and find out more information on that. Uh, besides that, let's get into the podcast. Joining us today is a four-time junior national champion, also a participant of the 2019 Junior World Championships, Karthik Kaliyana Sundaram. Yes, welcome, Karthik. Nice, nice. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. Man. Thank for sure, you. Man. I, I love saying your last name. It's so. It's just so fun, you know? Yeah, yeah. And, it's really long, but it took a while for people to get used to. I remember the tournaments, the font used on my name used to be so small because they had to try to fit my name on that small yeah. line. It was pretty incredible. Yeah. yeah but i just i just love hearing your name and it's just it yeah. flows so well and, and i know, you know i know it's, it's like you got a rhythm to it yeah yeah and i've known you for a long time you know ever since we were younger and our brothers always played against each other exactly so. yeah. yeah yeah and we've actually played against each other a couple times too and the first i think the the like one of the most memorable times i played against you was the git um in boston where i think before that tournament you played uh ricky you know, my older brother for the people that don't know. Yeah. Um, and you guys played three sets. It was like hardcore and bad, and you were just like improving really fast at that time, right? So um, yeah, I think the first game we played was singles. Um, and we were actually, because in JIT, they picked the names, right? Out of the box yeah. to, to yeah. do the draws. And we were all there just around the table waiting for the results. And then when I got picked to play you, I was like, oh no, this is it. It's over. I can't make singles for, <laughs> for Pan Am's. I was just completely, I was like, when I, when I went back to the hotel that night, I just couldn't sleep. I was like, it's over. I, what am I going to do? Right. Cause you were just on a roll that year. Right. And yeah. I think you knew it too. Cause you were pretty cocky when, when you saw the, when you saw the name, what, what did you feel? How did you um, feel? If, it's not more like that. It's like, I think of everyone like the same way. It's like, okay, yes, I know you might be good, but like the moment you think that it's like, okay, you're, you're degrading yourself and you're like letting yeah. them too. So you might as well, like, I feel like it's always like good to like, at least for me, especially it's like, I, at least, okay. My problem was always like, I would get overconfident. I just feel like, okay, everyone's easy when it's not like that. A lot of people mm -hmm. like had styles that were like really good against me, but I felt like, mm -hmm. um, like if you had given me Alexander, I would have been way more annoyed or like it would have been way tougher because I feel like my style goes well against yours, but then yeah. against people who play against like, for the people who play like Alex, it's like way more annoying because it's like, okay, now, okay, yeah. I feel like for a lot of people when I played, I would just play intuitively, like whatever like came to me usually like worked, but yeah. then against a couple, I felt like I really had to think, I had to be like, okay, so like, how do I want to structure the game? Like when I'm down, you have to like, think about like how your mental is going to be, how to like reassure yeah. yourself. But like, I was way more scared of you in doubles, obviously like doubles. Like I felt like yeah. I was going to like get absolutely white yeah. right? because it, like, it's, it's, I feel like it's the same thing. Like you and doubles at that time was like me and singles. It was like you yeah. playing singles. It was like a last attempt to let, like, let's get like my boat started. But then I think your yeah. doubles is where you like, you like started like going crazy like the growth yeah, was insane sure. through the years yeah mm -hmm. it was definitely a pain to ask for me to see i was not gonna lie because you yeah. know i was a big guy and it was tough for me to move around too but yeah um i it was I, for me i mean i knew it was gonna be a tough game against you right when i when i saw yeah. the game so what happened was if you if you remember my uh coach lay my mom you know she didn't she actually didn't sit behind me that game because she she was just like um you know just just play for fun and you know it's gonna be a tough game just go out there have fun do what you can do right and when that happened, you know, I went out there, I was just doing all these shots and just having fun and enjoying the crowd. And I yeah, ended up winning that game, yeah. which was crazy. And I think it, like when I started like getting to my rhythm and like, just like, sorry, I started taunting you almost a little bit. And then you get, you were getting frustrated from that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Did, yeah. Did you, you definitely you remember like, like, that's the thing with, I feel like the bad part about my, like the way I look at the game, it's like the moment it doesn't go your way, it is very annoying because they also have the confidence that they can do it. And then you are starting to degrade yourself and thinking, okay, maybe I can't, maybe I can't. Like, I yeah. very much agree with that. That would happen a lot in my career where I'd be like, okay, I can do this pretty easily, but it's like, I wouldn't, 
yeah, I wouldn't play like it until like I needed to. And then I would yeah. try to spark it. And then based on that, whatever happened would happen. Yeah, but, yeah. For, sure, for sure. I think you definitely like went into the game thinking like you got this game in the bag, right? Oh, which yeah. is like normal, yeah. which is like normal for you. Because it was obviously like a, anyone who sees the match, they would think, you know, I would pick Karthik. I would bet on Karthik, right? For that mm. match. I would say oh. it's like, okay, okay. No, no, no. I would say like, okay, actually not even like that. I don't think of it like that. It's like, okay, I just think of it like, does my style like play well into it? And if it mm-hmm. does, then it's not like, I feel like, okay, the point of Bampton isn't to like win at our level. It's more like, okay, just like keep yourself like in control enough so that you're always in control of the game. You just, you never, I don't feel like we're like, I don't know. I don't think we're at the level where we're actually like really, really like competing on styles. It's more like yeah. whoever makes the last mistakes wins. Okay. That yeah. like, yeah, that's such a common thing. I feel like we haven't gone right. Like so many people are still not consistent enough. We're like, we're having mm-hmm. good rallies and yeah. like, especially like that. Yeah. It's like, yeah, we're, we, we got to do better on that part. Yeah. It's for, pretty sure, interesting. for sure. We definitely need to get better with consistency, right? Exactly, and, exactly. Yeah. As I said, you know, that JT was really memorable for me because, you know, you played three sets with my brother. And obviously, mm. to me, Ricky is, like, amazing, right? Yeah, and Out yeah. of my reach, out of my reach. So it meant a lot for me to be able to overcome you. And, right, and then exactly. after that game, you know, the funny thing was I was walking up the stairs. You know how Boston has that stair going up? Yeah. And then Coach Fu was coming down. And Coach Fu was like, he, he, you know, he didn't say in a rude or mean way. He just said, we'll see about tomorrow. Cause tomorrow I was playing you for like doubles, I think. And uh, like, yeah. And then I was like, okay. So then um, it was like a challenging way. Right. And I, I yeah. accepted the challenge and I went in, you know, next day, you know, we played doubles. Obviously when we started playing doubles, it was more in my element. And oh, then, yeah. um, so I was able to clutch that win. And then, and then the third game we played was mix. Right. And then yeah. it, by that time it was just, it was not in your like field anymore. And then yeah. I was able yeah. to take that. Absolutely. So, so definitely it was that, that tournament meant a lot to me because obviously you're a great yeah. player and that that you know yeah. just respect completely. from you right yeah and completely that was definitely. a pretty yeah that was a pretty crazy one because i remember then, i was like, yeah. for all three and then i just like lost all three and i was i was very annoyed like okay i don't get how kids like lose and like don't cry or like don't be annoyed don't be mad like it just doesn't make sense to me like why are you playing okay oh my god we're on a podcast i'm sorry but yeah like it's okay it's i okay. feel like you got to be like way more passionate about it like I don't understand where like kids play the game and like they're not mad after they lose and especially that's even worse than that I feel like these days it's like no 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 no. they won't even get mad at themselves I can't be wrong no it has to be the coach not teaching me wrong it has to be this no 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 you know look inside like it's like Bampton Bampton I think is one of the most beautiful sports because it's like Mm -hmm. it's not only that you have to work hard no 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 you have to work beautifully with yourself you have to Mm -hmm. understand how you like play the game naturally definitely and promote that you know it's like i don't know I, I i think we can be like yeah that's why i don't know i never understood when like people would like lose and just be like okay with it's like why why are you even here type but like, yeah for sure yeah. i think yeah. like in the beginning it was like like we show it more but like even though if you see the older kids of course sometimes you know they don't cry like like a lot you know after they lose the game but inside they feel that kind of feel, pain exactly yeah, exactly. yeah. they just don't show it right Precisely. And then, but it's important to feel it because it motivates you to to exactly work on things, exactly right? exactly exactly sure. that's precisely i completely agree completely agree and you know talking about memorable moments um i do want to mention that the the other time you know we, we played that was pretty memorable for me um because we were able to um because that was that year with me and Derek against you and uh, Eric Chain. And mm. then we played in the quarterfinals for nationals. Yeah. And I just want everyone to know, like I mentioned this before, we've never beat them like the entire year. They've beaten us every yeah. single tournament we played. And so it meant a lot to us to be like, it, it was kind of like a obstacle in our way the entire yeah. year that we couldn't get past. And we Completely. were able to, to get past that in the, in the quarterfinals. And you actually hit this crazy trick shot. I don't know if you remember where you raised your racket above the net. Yeah, and then yeah. I, I, I hit it into and it and then it was just crazy. And then I, I hit actually one of my favorite game winning shots in that game as well. So the cool thing is I actually have the clip. I have the clip for uh, that game with those two points in it. And I'm going to show it to you right now. Um, so this is actually the first time anyone has seen this clip. So let's, sh- I'm going to share my screen. Yeah, because I, I watched myself on YouTube. I didn't see this one. I was like, wow. Really? Cool. Yeah. I've like man. watched my videos before. For sure. This one, man, this, this one's a, this was a really like crazy game going back and yeah. forth, right? So this was, um, I think it was second set or first set, first set. And then um, just, let's just watch Karthik's uh, shot. Oh! 
Jesus, that's pretty fire. That was pretty oh my fire. god, that oh my, you, know, gosh, you can just see it on my face. I couldn't believe yeah. it. I was like, <laughs> what just happened? I there was you know only Karthik yeah. can hit that shot, and that was not the yeah. first time. That was not the first time Karthik did that to me. You know, he probably did that to me twice. I think in another yeah. game, the same thing happened. I was like, oh my god, I can't believe that yeah. just happened. Yeah, but yeah, but now this is my um, this is the last point of our game. Last point of our game. So let's see this. Yeah, so that that was some crazy stuff, right? That was some crazy stuff. That was a beautiful battle. Yeah, I remember that time. It was like a yeah. time when, like, yeah, me and Eric, like, yeah, because me and Eric were, like, singles later. We were just, like, playing doubles because we were, like, good at singles. And yeah. that was, like, at the time where I felt like, yeah. What I realized, yeah, you, like, as a singles player, you're not just going to be good at doubles. Like, doubles is not just easy. It's, like, very, very, it's a very different style of game. It's yeah. almost, like, the, the exact opposite. And then, like, once everyone else once we, everyone in our group had realized that there were like mm -hmm. people in our age that were moving to like doubles mix everyone was like moving their own thing that's when i realized yeah. okay like okay doubles is gonna be like relaxation singles is where i'm really gonna be like yeah. on it yeah. yeah for sure and you you didn't pay too much attention to mix uh why, mm -hmm. why did you choose mix over uh, doubles for that you know okay okay you're never gonna be good at three things right so i'm like mm -hmm. okay doubles and mix for me it's like skewed it's like how do you proportion like proportionally like it distribute the blame to everyone mm -hmm. it's like no one wants to take blame right so not everyone wants to give it out to everyone and then if you also have yeah. parents involved it's like okay no 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 give me singles <laughs> i'll do my own thing if i lose it's on me if i win it's on me yeah me and my coach me and my group obviously like but it's way more like singular the focus you can get right mm -hmm. so it's like I only feel like doubles and mix are worth it when you find the other person that's on your wavelength about everything, mm -hmm. because then only you like actually work. I, and I felt like I felt that for the first time with Ryan, like Ryan Nebu was like mm -hmm. great doubles partner where we like just clicked in terms of what, what we were supposed to do. And so it became easier. Like I don't play, like, yeah, especially with doubles. Like I feel lost a lot of the time because a lot of my reflexes are like, I don't like to play fast. I like to play like, I like to play fast, but I, I like my shot selection slow. Like I like to like choose where I want to hit and then hit it. Yeah. I don't like play yeah. very much like force, 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 and then barrel it in. No, no, no. I, I like try to move it. I like try to do what I want to do with the rally. And so understanding the doubles that you just can't, no, no, no. You have to play attack, roll, everything. And I don't know. I just couldn't get used to it. I like, it just, yeah. it, I just physically like wasn't, couldn't get used to that so i was just like okay i'm just gonna focus on singles and i'll use mm -hmm. doubles to like train my speed reflexes and yeah and then yeah i think ice really helped me with doubles right like he tried to really get that into me because it was like being good at doubles and mix helps you in singles it's like mm -hmm. if anything all this thing just improves what you're actually good at so like i would always just try there just to like boost my single skills yeah. definitely I mean, they're all connected, right? So exactly, exactly. I think the the thing that, like you know, you mentioned for singles, you're able to have more time to choose your shots and then you know play the game how you want to play it. But for doubles, sometimes just driving back and forth, back and forth. Precisely. So yeah. it's very like fast paced, right? And it doesn't exactly. give you much time to think. It's just more of reflexes going back and forth. Exactly. Right? Exactly. <laughs> for sure. Um, you know, you did start you know training when you were in fourth grade actually, uh, yeah. with. Coach Fu, you started training with Coach Fu in Bing Tang, which is, you know, yeah. one the biggest badminton, um, you know, giant in, in, in the industry, right? And, you know, Coach Fu obviously contributed a lot to the sport of badminton, you know, whether it's opening a lot of gyms in the Bay Area or just yeah. helping, you know, changing the way we play the tournaments and everything like that. Um, what is it like to work with Coach Fu and training under him? No, 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 no. He's a breed different. Like a be mm -hmm. like, dude, he is so cool. I think it's because mainly because like me and him had the same mindset. Or like, yeah, me and him really had the same mindset on life. It was like you go in the court, you just want to dominate. Like there's no other like like and because when I was young, like when you're young, I don't know. I feel like there's no such thing as like being lazy because it's like that you don't know that you like, you, you know, you don't know that. And so yeah. like in the beginning, like I just wanted to become the best. It wasn't even I wanted to become the best. I just like I love Bend and it was crazy. Mm -hmm. Like I actually like loved the sport. I enjoyed it. Like it was like probably one of the first things I really loved to do in life in general. Mm -hmm. Like it was 
something I would go to and time would just pass. Time would just fly. Mm. I would just like have fun. I would enjoy. And more than that, like I felt I was, I had, I had some potential in it and coach Fu saw that too. And then coach, who did everything he could to just like get me to like keep channeling, get it getting better. We would like That's train right. nonstop. Yeah. Yeah. It was like the intensity was there. You know what I mean? The intensity yeah, yeah. want to win was like, yeah. Unrivaled. Like, like we want, like, yeah. A second place is nothing. Second place mm-hmm. is nothing. First place is the only thing that's worth it in my opinion. Definitely. Like, that's how it should be looked at. Yeah. For sure. Coach Fu is definitely like a really passionate coach. He loved passionate. badminton himself too, you know. Oh, and yeah. Like he, he, he could have done anything with his life, but he decided to pursue, you know, badminton because it was his passion. He, he enjoyed doing it so much. And, you know, I do remember that you guys actually have money rewards. He really understands how players think. So uh, what was like that thing with money rewards where you guys will get money? it was more like it was more like this i i don't know i felt like there was a point where um you like win and you think like the winning's all you it's like oh yeah. it's only me i'm doing all of it mm-hmm. i don't know and then you like soon realize like the moment you think of it like that i feel like the only time you can think of it like that that it's all you it's when you're mm-hmm. really doing everything like you're really putting the work and everything you're so conscious of everything but i feel like no no no, it's not really like that people feed us information that allows us to like get better they like tell us oh do this workout do that workout but this was more like okay how can i get carly to like train at his max with the reward that would be like oh if he gets it he would get this and i was like really like built like that like um i don't know the it's weird. Mm-hmm. I wanted to get better because of the people around me. I don't know how much I care about being the best if there was no one around me. And I think yeah. like I needed like I needed Alex to want to I needed Alex to be there to for me to want to be better. Does that make sense? Definitely. I needed yeah. someone who's like always gonna be like at my because yeah, I felt like skill wise, I felt like I was pretty far ahead mm-hmm. but I felt like physical wise I was pretty like I was okay enough to like beat people but when it became to tough games I would have to try I would have to yeah. really really like focus and like give it my all but I mm-hmm. felt like I didn't want it to be like that I wanted to be like in control the whole time like I wanted to beat people yeah. like Philip Jap was beating people no 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 <laughs> like, oh I don't my God. want like yeah I want to be goats. under five exactly like I want yeah, to be under five goats. under six like I don't like yeah 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 yeah. like it's uh, but my problem was that i didn't work like that and i towards like and that's why u19 first year was like my crazy year because Mm -hmm. i worked really hard that year it was crazy like it was just me me coach ice and bryce and malvika in in the gym just like grinding and it's like yeah i love when it's small workout sessions because it's like you can't be lazy if there's only three people you are mm-hmm. like if you are lazy, everyone's gonna be trash. Like I feel For like sure. yeah, another thing. It's like in training, if you don't train hard, you make everyone else just have that much more of a like barrier towards working hard. They don't want to do it either. And I feel like yeah, it's another thing I realized. It's like you can set so many vibes with just working hard, and everyone will get on that way. Like if you're working hard and someone else is not working hard, they're gonna work hard. Like as yeah. soon as they realize, it. otherwise yeah. they don't like they shouldn't be there. You know what I mean? And. Yeah, sure like really once i started grinding i felt like yeah i mm, I, w- I wish i trained harder like when i was younger that's not the definitely, one thing I, definitely. Yeah. I think you know you mentioned this really great thing about competition and how alex pushed you right he's always on your ass right behind you mm. or you know always pushing you and then it, when he gets better you want to get better too and same thing with you know you're training with bryce and malvika and you know whenever they're doing whenever they're training and then they're doing an extra set you're going to do that extra set you know you're not going to be like oh yeah i'm just going to take a seat back and chill Mm -hmm. right for the last set so definitely i think competition and having great teammates around you is very important also you know you're a very social person so Mm -hmm. i think it does help you out a lot too and now obviously you know after you trained with uh coach fu you you switched to coach ice what made you have that change um no those more from coach Fu's perspective where he felt like honestly it made sense it was like you guys aren't listening to me because you guys are we were pretty old but then and it was like yeah we weren't like being productive with each other and well as soon as coach moved us to ice ice was like a new thing where you you're like i feel like if you really respect your coach i don't know 
you don't you don't do a lot of like you listen yeah. to them i don't know so many kids you start getting just, comfortable like, start getting comfortable exactly 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 you get too comfortable and it's like no nah, i needed to switch and ice was like the perfect transition ice gave me like dude in, like like intricate like details of them that i hadn't looked at like yeah everything in life is just so much deeper than we make it out to be so much deeper that's all i want to emphasize it's like you can definitely like you choose to look at it at such a shallow level. Mm-hmm. You can dive so deep. Like I barely dived that deep, but like I've learned so much. And it was like subtleties in Bamson are so beautiful because they like mm-hmm. increase, they can make such a big difference. Like even just a one step movement that would have saved you one step in one direction. Like it, yeah. it's so much, it's like, that's what we're trying to optimize at that level. Like we're trying to optimize that small level Definitely. because we want to keep getting better and better. And I think I just provided me with so many like gems on not even just like bands in life, mm-hmm. especially. And it was like, it was really interesting. It was, it was a very good time to be alive because I'll say this, the very few times where you get to learn really just like, okay, okay. Yeah. To everyone who's like watching this, like you've got to like start learning again. You've got to fall in love with learning because then you want to do it regardless. Does that make sense? It's like the yeah. moment you love what you're doing, it's like, you're going to do it regardless. So start like loving that process. And it's like, you're never becoming number one overnight. No, no, no. People don't understand. Like I didn't just randomly become, no, I grinded so hard. I grinded so hard in the beginning. Like I would be in the gym, 24 seven, not because my parents put me there. You see, see, that's the biggest difference. My parents would just drop me in Google and we would create it for ourselves. We would play open gym or like we do this, we do that. And it's like, it's, it's, it's in the mind. It's in the mind. We, Google is one of the most beautiful examples I'd say, because Google struggled so hard in the beginning. Like, yeah, Goku struggled really hard in the beginning, but then he popped off like no one other. Like no one, yeah. like I would say Goku is more dominant than Philip Jap. Goku, like Goku is going to tournaments and beating kids under two games under 10. It's like, yeah, that's filthy. You know, like to go to a tournament and lose like 10 and 10, like, okay, I, I, I wouldn't be proud of that, right? And it's yeah. like, no, no, it's not even that. He was just at that level of comfortability at, with himself and the sport. And it's like, once you reach that medium in life, I think that's when you really start producing results. Like too many people are scared of the pain when you just got to work hard. Like working hard gives you the arsenal that will allow you to be great. That's the part that you have to learn. Your personality and all that will shape that greatness, but you really need to get there with your hard work and your arsenal, right? Yeah. Definitely. I think it's like this cliche thing where like people tell you you gotta work hard, but it's true, you know? If you wanna be great, no matter how much talent you have, you have to work hard, you know, like Philip, like yeah. you mentioned before many times, uh, like Philip, he, he has a massive amount of talent. Like we can all agree that. Right. But Philip literally let, like ran marathons to be able to get that stamina for, for singles. Do you know how, like that, Dude, the amount yeah. of work, you know, that, that it, these champions put in, including Goku, like you mentioned, you know, they, they put in a lot like, of work. Yeah, everyone like, like, no, 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 not even to that. It's, I would say every single one who's won, I would say it's something beautiful. Each every winner had like something good about them that they had a skill. That's what I think about U.S. Bampton. It's like we're not like Asian Bampton because we don't have that time. But it, with what we have, a lot of what the top players had like some skill that they're really good. Like Ricky's insane thing I thought was insane was like his physicality in terms of like just he didn't care that like whatever you thought. That's what I felt Ricky played like. And yeah. what made him so interesting to play against. Ricky does not care about what you think. He will do what he does until he either wins or loses he does not care and that determination i thought was really cool it was a really interesting thing i hadn't seen in much people goku brought a side of the game that i felt like we hadn't seen in a long time like a consistent player that would play attack really well and could like actually offense it wasn't just defense 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 no and then like you you came into the picture i thought you had a sense of power that no one else in your age had like you had an ability to like hit the bird with such crazy power and like a lot of us couldn't get used to that especially like when you were racking it up in singles i felt like even in singles you could have been crazy good just because your power selection how you select the power and i felt like in my category it was like me clayton alex i would say were like i would say like i brought it style to the game was just like fun like a lot of like like it was like a control game, but I would I would play a lot more precisely than people thought. It wasn't just what, like random play. Yeah. And then you had Clayton. Clayton would come on. Like he just never gives up. Like that man. Yeah. You will die or he will die. There's no in between. Like, yeah. and then there's Alex. Same breed. Just like 
they will do whatever it takes to win. They like yeah. that's the beautiful thing. You have to extrapolate the concept of how they play the game in real life and understand why it's so cool. It's like they just never gave up. Like yeah. in the like, okay, okay, I would say this. Even in training, okay, it's bad to give up. Yeah. But it's the reason why you're you're you don't give up in training is because in those last moments in the tournament, like when you're playing those intense games, you need that like action potential to like get over that pain in that moment to get that last shot yep. like to get that like one last lunge to do it mm-hmm. even though it hurts so much you need to train your brain to be able to make that leap of faith and be mm-hmm. like okay that is worth that amount of pain to like get mm-hmm. that shot and i think that's what people are like lacking a lot it's like even in the moment you think you're not losing too much by not doing it but you're not building up your castle you're not building up yep. the vision for the victory it's like yep you can't just train as if you want second and then get mad when like you don't get first. Right? Yeah. It's almost yeah. foolish. It's almost foolish in my opinion. It's like, Definitely. yeah, I agree. I think the, 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 to sum it up, it's like your training should be harder than the tournament. You know, that that's how it is. If you want to win, your training has got to be harder than the tournament. Right. Precisely. And- like I, what I think it's actually really beautiful about it is that you need to work, like you need to work on your skills the most. It's like at the beginning the first like five, six years of your band and it has to be just skill based. Like you need to understand what you could, you can and cannot do with yourself. And then you spend the next like four to five years, like how do, how can I make this my style? How can I like, like win with this? You know what I mean? And that's like a really important part of the game. I think we're all like a lot of people are missing. It's like, "Mm -mm, guys, work like your coaches like come on like you think they're giving you false information like you think they're telling you wrong stuff it's so stupid to think about no 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 look inside and really see why you're not winning there's a very definite reason most of the time very few people have like intangible reasons for not winning like i think it's like it's way more binary than we think definitely definitely um that's a great point. You know how you mentioned that people, they, they often right now, they just point to the coaches. If they lose, they point to the coaches. The coaches did this. The coaches did that, right? That is one thing me. that irks me. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and there's this many situations where, you know, the players, there's many players who just jump between clubs, going to this club, going to that club. What do you see in that situation? I, I, I'll be very sure with this. I do not mess with it. Like, mm-hmm. don't even talk to me if you move to clubs, especially after a losing performance. Like, come on, man. You, re- you really think it's your coach. Like, I feel like, okay, a few players where you've been with your coach a long time, it hasn't been working out. You guys are like, okay. Mm-hmm. But a lot of this is just like shady behind the back. Okay, like I lost this tournament. Okay, I'm not going to, like it has to be the coach's fault, right? Like it, it just cannot be me. It cannot be me, right? Like that mentality. Yeah. Yeah. It's like almost to the point where like, yeah, it's, it's no, no, no. I think no, what people don't like understand is that like no matter how good you are, no matter how the coach like no matter how good the coach is you know that you always lose games always lose games there's no Dude, yeah, like, like point or like yeah, what you, like, know, you don't win you think exactly like like to think that winning is endless is foolish no 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 yeah. you work to keep winning endless but very few people can actually sustain it and that's why i thought goku was really sick like people like ricky were super sick because they were able to sustain it like people like me I was on the top for most of the time. I would say like almost all the time. Most of the time I won my tournaments, but there were a couple of tournaments where I had my lows and in those lows, I understood what it meant to be at those highs. And you like, you need those lows. You need those losses to like shake you up and be like, okay, like I, I know I need to work. Cause okay, I think it's like this. You lose, you know exactly what you need to work on. If yeah. there are moments where you feel so uncomfortable on the badminton court and you're like, dude, that felt so disgusting. Like me yeah. having to try to get that shot in that way, I just, mm-hmm. I couldn't do that. You know it, do it, work on it, get better. Like it's Definitely. such a, yeah, yeah. Habits play a big role in it. For sure, for sure. You know, we, we talked about how, you know, coaches, they they help you, you know, shape you as a person, as a player as well. But how do you think, how important do you think coaches are in general? No, no, it's huge. It's huge. It's huge. It's like when you step into Bampton, you don't really have like a framework to look at Bampton. You don't really understand the, like the game. Yeah. And they really give you like a very like a lot yeah i think there are a lot of good coaches in us actually really good coaches Mm -hmm. they give you a good base framework to look at the sport how can i analyze myself how can i like play better and it's like you need people like that you're never going to become good by yourself you're never like you need a coach especially in sports and like they're 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 you can be douchey to your teammates i'd say Mm -hmm. never be douchey to your coach 
your coach, yeah. like the moment you like don't allow him to tell you something, he's not going to want to tell you something, something else he might have thought. Does that make sense? Yeah. You break pathways. No, no, no. Your coach, always you have to please them. Your coach is your biggest fan. Like, yeah. like your coach wants you to win almost damn as bad as you do. Like your yeah. coach is invested. This is why he trains you. Mm-hmm. And the moment you think of it like that, you're like, hey, how, how can I get more information? Like, how can I ask questions? Or like, how can I like train so that you want to give me information? And yeah. it's like, yeah, you you have to look at it as like, I'm playing to win, not playing not to lose. Does that make yeah. sense? Like, it's yeah. not like I'm playing just to avoid the slots. No, 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 no. I'm playing because I want that win so bad because like, I, I hate losing. Type, for yeah, sure, for like sure. That. I think, you know, a lot of people, for some reason, players have this idea sometimes that coaches don't care about them, right? And it's, it's this very, like, like why would you think that? Because the coaches, that, that you're their livelihood, right? And, like, they need you to play good in order yeah. for them to, you know, show other people, like, hey, I can, this is what I do, you know? I got Precisely. these players, you know, who are amazing, you know, performers and everything like that. So it's important for players to know that coaches really want to help you, you know? They're not doing anything That's to hurt the you. There's thing. no point. Exactly. Right? Exactly. Definitely. And obviously, you know, Binte has a lot of coaches because it's a big organization, right? Um, you don't have to answer this if you don't want to, but who do you think, who, who is your, like, who do you think oh, is the I'll best coach in BK? I'm very opinionated. This is all my okay. opinion. I'm very opinionated. Okay. I would say, like, my favorite coaches, easily to be coached by in tournaments. Okay, ice is a different breed. When ice is sitting behind you, you feel so comfortable. Mm-hmm. If you can understand them, it's, it's, it's like. If you can understand him, he does. He like, does have like, no, no, no. Yeah, right. In the beginning, I didn't really yeah. understand him too well his English, but like as soon as yeah. like we built that chemistry, it was crazy because like ice understood my game and I understood Definitely. what ice wanted me to do with my game. Does that make sense? It's two yeah. different things. It's like I could play the game a certain way and he had a vision for how he wanted my game to look like. Mm-hmm. And then we melded those two. It was understanding how to meld those two. And Dude, when Ice is back there, when Coach Fu is back there, it's like, um, Pratik was really good too. I'd say I like I like coaches that don't yell yell at me because if you yell at me, I'll yell back at you. I don't care. Uh-huh. Like you know what I mean? Yeah. But because in that moment, I wanted that bad too. Like I'm that intense about it. Yeah. But Ice and Ice, Coach Fu and like, um, Coach Pratik, like all these people, like I don't know, they just gave me a very analytical solution to the game. Mm-hmm. A lot of times my game wasn't like, like, like someone was better than me. I was throwing it away. Like mm-hmm. very few times I felt like someone was actually like a skill level above. No, no, no. Most of the time I was throwing it away. I, I couldn't control myself. I like thought it was too easy or it was like, it was hard and I wouldn't give it that respect. Same, it's like all these coaches here, they're like, un- they're trying to understand how you look at the game and how to make that better. And it's like, yeah. I loved it. I really loved it when Coach Ice and Coach Fu were behind me. They were probably like my favorites. Yeah. It's like those coaches, you know, that give you really good advice on the court. It just makes you feel comfortable to have them behind you. Exactly. And exactly. Definitely. I feel, I feel that for sure. Um, now, obviously you stayed in Binteng your entire Bampton career, right? Um, what do you think is Binteng's core values? Because every club has their own core values, right? What's it been saying, dude? It's so beautiful. It's like, yeah, you like, depending on the group you go to, you like gain a certain style, a certain way to look at the game. And it's like, yeah, you promote the like, never give up, never surrender is literally the motto. Like, if you remember OG Binting, it's like, we used to have that on the wall. It was crazy. It was like, yeah that's all that matters because in doing that you're aiming for the win that's what i believe yeah. it's like by by not giving up by not surrendering you're basically saying i want that win as bad as you and i'm damn near willing to do as much as you are to it yeah. and i'll do more in fact right and it's like mm-hmm. as long as you have that mentality you will win man it's not like you'll at least get top five like that's all people are hoping for these days. You know, they just want like top five, just something to please their parents. Okay, like yep, that's yep. enough. You know what I mean? Like, uh-huh. yeah, I don't know. We can set our bar so much higher and like even like get low less than it, but like at least set the bar high and work for that bar, and you'll yep. do better. You know what I mean? It's not just good enough to set the bar. You have to work for that bar too. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I think you know these. It's like every club has their own core values, right? And I think it shapes the player as a person too. You know, to for you right now, even when you're in college, you probably have the same mindset as you are, you know, that being tamed, implemented on you, right? And Precisely. these values, they're very important in life and they help you get better in everything that you do, right? And I think 
like the biggest change that I saw in you throughout the, uh, you know, your, your journey, I saw you were like very cocky in the beginning, right? You're, you were like, Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Right. Oh, yeah. You're very cocky. Oh, yeah. And then, but towards the end, you were more confident, but humble at the same time. Yeah. How were you able to make that change? Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'm very cocky in my own head. Not, <laughs> I would say not derogatory. I would say just for my own boost, not even to like bring others down. It wasn't that others were worse than me. That's not how I look at it. I yeah. just feel like I'm better, but it was like, one I felt like it was founded like I felt like I was I was railing people like I was killing everyone and then two I felt like I didn't have an awareness of others I didn't really like it didn't matter to me how others felt so if I yeah. beat you I would tell you to your face like I think it's not cocky I think that's how we should be operating it's just that people are way too sensitive in my opinion like like <laughs> Me saying that to you should make you want to beat me next tournament, but all yep. it did was just make them feel bad. Okay, then yep. feel bad. You think yep. I care? You think I would? You think I spent two, two more like minutes thinking of your sadness? I could yep. not care. I'm more focused on my. You see what I mean? It's like yep. I like I don't say it to bring others down. Not at all. I want you to beat me so that I can push myself to a new limit. Does that make sense? Yep. And. But I would say the call, I moved to that because I realized there is reality and I can't just impose my own thing on everyone, right? Like I can't just yeah. make everyone like that. So I was like, sure. okay, I'm going to keep this to myself. I'm going to feel how I want to feel and I'm just yeah. not going to talk too much about it. Like, yeah. like, and especially when you're young, it's okay. And you have to like, you, you're, it's okay to like be your own self. But I feel like, yeah, as you grow older, you realize like there's boundaries. You got to like uh, respect it and stuff. Yeah. But if I was still in bed, I'd still be talking trash because I just feel like it's kind of cute how kids like react. Oh, he's yeah. cocky. Shut up. Like I, like, I already beat you and everything. Obviously, I'm going to say that. Like what yeah. about it is false? Like, I don't know. It's yeah. a it's a very crude way of looking for at sure, it. For sure, for sure. I think yeah. it's a big difference because like, our like right now kids are more or the players now are more, they're a little softer and they, they like they, they, they show a lot of respect that is ah. respect for their opponent but at the same like, time you know, it's like, yeah, no 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 you I'll, I'll literally run this down you'll yeah. you'll pull up to like staging area right and the, the other kid you're playing is like oh my god is that him yeah. you're like bro like do i even want to play this game so i already know yeah. i'm gonna under five right like yeah. if you're looking at me like that you i know you're not gonna win i, I yeah. know you have no chance because the ones who have a chance are the ones that look at it as if, as if they're gonna win so it's yeah. literally a fact it's literally yeah. those are the people i'm so scared like people like you the people who, who like thought they could the, yeah. no 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 there was like that's why i wasn't that scared of that many people yeah. in them it was like there was like a general population there was like the set of seven to eight people that i focused mm -hmm. on every time I would, no 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 i would take notes on it like i literally had a notebook for every single person i would write down like after games i would think about like what what could i have done better like and a lot of this i didn't even do myself the parents really built it into me where it was like do you really want to win Karthik? Then if you do put in the effort and like I had to analyze like what was I doing wrong? What could I get better at? Who could I like, who was I doing well against and what could I implement in that style that would help here? It's like, there's so much more to this game that we're not looking at that yeah. like involves one. I'm sure you've done this too. Like I know for a fact that you've also gone through this process where you've thought about your opponents and you're like, yeah. what is it about me that's not allowing me to beat them? And you worked on it. And that's literally all there is to life. And it's like, Guys, 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 it's really like, just work hard. The pain is worth, it. the pain is always worth it. Like you will always net well in life if you work hard and look at your output then not work hard and regret. It is literally a fact for life. And it's one thing I've learned the hard way, the hard way, not the easy way. Like I, I realized I could have done so much more in bend. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Like yeah. mm, it frustrates me, but it also like, it's cool because okay that part is done with my life i'm not going to do it too much yeah. i'm going to start doing that in other aspects of my life you know for sure for sure you know yeah. um you know how you mentioned like you know trash talk is very important i think it's going to be important in the future for badminton players to have that trash talk even the professional level you know because it oh, creates like it creates a more motivation for your opponents for other people for fans to watch right or else yeah. it's like it's just a game and you just play have so much like there's, yeah, there's a certain yeah. level of respect that you should have but at the same time it's okay to trash talk right it's okay like, to trash okay talk. yeah what people don't understand bro trash talk is from my perspective when i like obviously i think of you as a good player in like the general paradigm but in my own way of thinking about it 
no, I don't think you're that good. Does that make sense? I think you're trash. I think you're overrated type stuff. Like that's no what one's I as think good in as my me, mind. right? No one's as good as me, right? Exactly. Because the moment mindset. you put someone else on a bigger pe- pedestal than you, you're always chasing this, like, like this, yeah. this, this, this mirage above you. No, yeah. you are the capability. Look at yourself mm-hmm. as something better and aim for that. That's what you should be doing. It's good to have idols and stuff, but not to the point where it's like, I'll never get there. I'll never, no, no, guys, guys. Like there were so many kids I felt like in Bam that had crazy potential. I'll list one of them, Dean Tan. Dean Tan was the, oh, by far, talent levels I above agree. everyone. Like, like this kid Amazing was playing player. Bam above yeah, like there were times where I couldn't even comprehend how fast he would hit. I was yeah. like, how, right? But I don't like, know if you remember, like I actually played with Dean for doubles and I know and I exactly felt, what you're talking about. I know exactly the what you're talking about. The scariest part is that with people like that, it's you you can't control people, like, like especially yeah. like us. It's like, we just want to do it the way we're done it, but the way to do it is to learn structure and learn how to do it in a certain format and then apply yeah. it in your own way. Like you can't like... It's a very beautiful thought, but you can only understand order because you, you know, like you can only understand disorder because you, under, you learn order. Like you can yeah. only understand like all this like disorder stuff because you were taught structure in society and you can think of life like that. And yeah. once you really look at it like that, you'll realize, okay, if I look at it as working hard, then I'll avoid all that not working hard and regretting stuff. You, you leave that back. Like you're like, you want to keep, going ahead in life yeah. not working backward you know for sure for sure like people like dean like he's so talented like he t- dean's not very good at training dean's not that's not his like thing right he doesn't train but he is damn like filthy but he's he so talented, talented so talented so like even with talented. that amount of training that he has he's just able to just do these amazing things on the court right but because he doesn't have that amount of training to back him up sometimes in tough situations he gets a little stuck you see exactly that's precisely it it's like it's not like a random thing that he didn't do no no no. when you think about it you wonder but each of us have our own things like Mm -hmm. each of us had our own that would made us slightly flawed and that's what makes the game beautiful that like you can't be stuck on level one where you can't even work hard and understand Mm -hmm. this level does that make sense come on come on like work like people gotta work on themselves enough until they actually find themselves not someone else does that make sense not someone else they want to be not someone like no like yeah be your own dream be your own dream it's a very and like when we like when we say like working hard, it's not just like doing the extra set, right? It's not just that yeah. or doing running the extra mile. It's also like, for example, like Karthik said, taking notes in that notebook, right? Like yeah. a lot of players don't do that because they think it's like, it's oh, like- so I got it in my head. I got it in my head, but like, it's different. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's a very different thing. I would say, I also used to think like that. I used to think if it was in my head, it was good enough. And I think what you'll real uh, what, at least what I realized, and a lot of this is like per person. I realized like when I wrote it down, I remember it. Like it's like it's in my memory. And I don't know about you guys, but like when I play badminton, I don't think during the rally. I just play whatever, and then after the rally, I I like ex- extrapolate, understand whatever I did. But what I started trying to learn how to do was to start trying to think during the rally. How do I like become so comfortable with where I am in Bampton right now that I can think while I'm playing. It's not like I'm just making a shot because I'm just intuitively doing it. Cause a lot of us, we play Bampton intuitively. It just happens. We do it. I play, but I wanted to add another dimension to my game where I was like thinking about it. So like, now that I have this time here, what can I do with the shot? Can I like push? Can I cross now? What can I do about it? And yeah, there's a, yeah there's so many more possibilities that we we didn't explore that i didn't explore that i really want to and i'm like training now once a week it's like pretty cool mm-hmm. i just get like one time and i think now it's much better like this because i i, I really get to marinate on like the idea of that i'm like okay i only get one chance to play it a week and that's all i need just one day to just give it all out and then mm-hmm. rest, get rest. And then just sure. like think about what I want to work for the next week. And that's like how I'm like looking at Bampton now. But it's, it's yeah, Bampton is damn near the best sport in the world. I'll be, I'll be so real. It's like the most beautiful sport because you have to be good at all factors. You, mm-hmm. you literally like, you can't not be good at one because then you know there'll be someone at your level that's better. Like it's yeah. like, you yeah. need to at least maintain average or better and at least mental consistency power and speed like four yeah. there's like literally four categories you just need to like be good at like to I do agree. well i agree right? for sure man i totally agree um you know I, I i i'm really interested in your like the notebook that you were talking about do you still have the notebook 
Like right now? Dude, I actually might. Um, I have like a couple of these like I, notebooks where I... Because I'd be curious to... If you wrote anything about me, I'd be curious to know what you wrote. I, 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 I most definitely did write on like you. I remember Dawn was coming up in the time when I was young yeah. at that yeah. time. Um, let me look at... Oh my God. You found oh it? God. Holy, yeah. Like I literally have a notebook where I wrote like... This is like probably like 2013 me, right? Um, this this one only has two pages, but I like I wrote about like oh actually three pages. So I like wrote what I wanted to do in high school, like what were my goals, and then I was like Bampton, what I wanted to fix. I'll just like say a little. It was like I wanted to be able to return cross smashes, mm -hmm. stuff like that. I wrote about what I wanted to prove on. Then I had a page for like Don. I was like oh like how does he play? Like because I remember it was in the time, especially when he was coming up because mm -hmm. yeah he was a definitely interesting player he was like good he was way more stable than like because okay the people her age the, the people his oh, age bro, bro u.s players are so easy to play get points on it's like it's like yeah it's almost like at will like i just have to set up a certain pattern and then i'll i know i'll win a point off that but with dawn it's more like no 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 you gotta like you gotta let it go like play 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 like you're not just gonna win these quick easy points you gotta think about it more meticulously like see how you're winning and that that's what i felt like was a bigger difference like like oh uh, yeah like an easy one like i used to always like do these tight nets and then everyone would cross lift or try to cross lift I, or you always cross smash because everyone's getting ready for a straight smash i don't know okay. like little stuff like these like i would play Definitely. these little games just to like get points see what would work on that person and yeah. then but i felt like like, especially with Alexander, you couldn't do any of that shit. Because he, he'd be ready for it. He'd literally be faster than you and your own trick. And so, like, you'd just get it. And so, you'd be like, that was a waste of energy. I'd rather save that for, like, the later parts of the game. Yeah. And so, like, yeah, people who were consistent really had a very good edge on me. Because yeah. they, were, they had a part of the game that I just couldn't, like, understand. Like, I literally didn't. You have to understand it from, like, my point of view. I, like, I wasn't good at consistency. Like, I wouldn't make bad decisions, but I would also make ultra good decisions, but I, they would polarly like match, like even yeah. out. But yeah. if I just like removed my bad decisions, I could have been mm -hmm. so much better of a player. Right. And so sure. in that regard, it was, it's cool. It's cool how much you can learn about yourself. Right. But everyone has, you know, they, everyone makes some bad decisions, you know, so Precisely. it's impossible to, 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 to have zero, you know, mistakes. And, yeah. you know, you were mentioning Don earlier, how, you know, Don, Don is very consistent you know, which is unlike you, U.S. players, right? Like, he's very consistent. And um, he, <laughs> you know, you're obviously very comp accomplished in badminton, right? And, but you played Don actually in the 2019 Junior Nationals and everyone has their bad games, you know, every, yeah. you know, in their career. But um, you actually lost that game, I think in two sets, but in two sets you were leading in both of them, like 20, like, what was yeah. the score for like both it sides? was like it was like 1911 or like 2011 and then it was like 1912 and i just like lost yeah. both and i think dude yeah i'll see dude i'll tell you what don has above everyone else like mm -hmm. don i would say even william who has it you have it uh clayton has it alex has it it's just they you guys have a mind of your own you guys are not like bots like you guys don't like look at other people and you're like oh yeah. i want to be that dude i want to be this no 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 yeah. like you can tell don worked on his game his own game worked on it understood how he would play it and then made it his own like and it was like it was such a good game because i'm like okay for a while i really hated badminton because i get and i'll be i'll be, I'll be real i, I didn't yeah. like that umpire i did not like that umpire i hate that umpire the one for don or the, the one she no yeah she went out of her way to make that game unintentionally annoying Un like <laughs> it was just too much and then but i would say the game in terms of the game aspect it was something i really Okay, like in training leading up to that, I would have those games. Like I would be up on like, cause I'd be sparring with my coaches. Like I'd be up a little on them or like I'd be up, but no, 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 no. It was never when I was up a little. When I was up a little, it was close enough where I would maintain my mindset. But like once I like, like got a lead, I just didn't know how to maintain it. Like my brain, ah, oh, I'm like, I don't finish out the killing. I just, I'm like, okay, it's fine. And so- First game, obviously, okay, okay. It's still embarrassing to lose after you're up like 2012, but yeah. like I learned a side of myself that I didn't know I had, but I was like, okay, like this thing is going to be a part of me for the rest of my life, regardless yeah. if I care about it or not, I'm going to work mm -hmm. on it. Like, it's not like, 
I hate this. I hate that. No, no, no. no. Uh, for a while, I was on that where I was just like, dude, I'm done. Like, that kid is so trash. So tra- No, like, even though he's good, I think I'm way levels above him. Like, obviously, like, it's just how I think. And I'm like, I was so annoyed that I let someone else beat me in a way where I beat myself. It was like, there was nothing he was better than me. And not th- like my nets are better. My everything is better than him except for his consistency. And he literally used that to just destroy me, to annihilate me. And I was like, I need that. Like, I need that. Like, yeah, you don't want to be a jack of all trades. You can also just really focus on one area, just make it your own and like really yeah. get so good at it that like, you know, you just can't, you can't be rattled. You're like, mm-hmm. I got rattled when it was 1960, 1970, 1980. I, I just like didn't know what to do because I wasn't comfortable mm-hmm. with that feeling yeah. and that uncomfortability. It's like, you just got to get over it. You're like, okay, this is, this is going to be in every aspect of life, the same things that happen. Like I'm going to maybe in like, maybe like, maybe with like my grades, I'll be like at A's and then on the final like test, I'll like won't do well. And I'll go to like an A minus or like a B plus same thing. It's like this lack of dice mindset when you're ahead. No, it's not. Okay. You've got to keep like wanting more. And that's what I realized for myself. For sure. For sure. I think, you know, cause obviously to you, Don is really young cause ob- he's already young to me cause he's yeah. younger than me and yeah. he's extremely young to you. So, so, you know, to you, it, you have to win that game. Like you're supposed to win that game, right? Exactly. And it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Even more than that, I hate losing. Losing just sucks. Yeah, yeah. Like, like walking out the tournament, not winning. I don't know. I don't get how people yeah. do. I don't get how you want to go to the next one and do this exact same thing. No, yeah. like I'm aiming for that win. And like, yeah, I damn near want it more than anyone. Uh, yeah, yeah, I want that win so bad because it's just like. I don't know winning is just cool man you know what i mean it's like one of yeah, the yeah. things in life where you're like holy shit that shit is fun man i just sure. want to be the best we, yeah. we like as as athletes we train our ass off oh, for yeah. that one oh, second yeah. where we win you oh know? yeah it's literally yeah. like six seconds where you're like at your peak you're like yeah. i am better than everyone i i don't know that's how i look at it it's, it's yep. a kind of flawed way but i'm like it makes me mortal like yeah. my i'll be philosophical on other stuff but for winning i'm just like this is something about me i just can't remove i i like yep. i fiend winning i fiend yep. it i like work for, sure. for it i'll do anything for it because yeah it's just such a glorious feeling yeah when you because when you can say that you're better than other people when you've also when everyone's working and when everyone thinks they're working does that make sense Mm -hmm. so if everyone thinks they're working and you're beating them that means you're better than it's just a cool feeling that's what i think yeah Yeah. for sure for sure like okay and all this like saying that like people aren't working that hard i also didn't do it that much you gotta understand Mm -hmm. like i'm not the perfect person like people like go go where they work super like people like bianca like bianca was a dude bianca was the hardest worker i've ever met in my life i've ever i've ever met men like those are the people that do well do you understand like bianca worked so hard i was like holy shit i feel kind i feel bad for bianca because of her injury do you make sense like i just feel so bad because like she had so much to show that she couldn't because of injuries and it's like people like that that i'm like so hyped for not the Mm -hmm. not the like 99 percent of population that goes to training doesn't do well blames their coach goes to like you know what i mean that's not the people i feel bad for no the people who work like bianca and them just it's like you realize like if you if i can do that if they can do that i can do it and i can yeah i can just be amazing that's what you have to understand it's they motivate it's really, you motivate they motivate you. you to want better to want better for yourself for sure for sure just watch them and, and you're like wow yeah and obviously you know you mentioned bianca and she was part of like the older kids for us right and um you obviously both of us we've seen how players play back then you know and how they used to compete come um, what do you think is the difference between the, the U.S. Pat, badminton right now and before? I think, like, okay, okay. Skill levels now are way higher than back then. Back then, they were bots. But back then, they had way better physicality. Levels way – levels we aren't even close to right now. Yeah. Like, Alex – yeah, Alex was pretty cool. I, I would say, like, after – yeah, even, like, we we don't match their physicality, but in terms of skill, I think we're way farther at. Like, I don't think any of them. Like, I'm like, yeah, that's what I think. I don't think skill wise they were too good. They just they just played consistent. They just really yeah. like every single one of them. I I I don't know. Out of my recollection, there were like a few players that I thought were like crazy crazy that were like mm-hmm. standouts, like people who were able to play consistent and have their own style, like Philip, like um, like people who were like, oh, you know who was super cool back then. Uh, 
I don't know if you guys remember this dude, Sun Yuan. He was crazy. He was one of the craziest bin tank players that I've ever. Like, yeah, he was a bin tank player. He was one of the cool, like the fastest player you'd ever seen. Like mm-hmm. this player would do like, like he would play against someone and he would do a net drop and he'd do a push up in the middle, like in the in the middle of the court and then go mm-hmm. hit the next shot. Like his speeds were levels like I had never seen. And things like that, I would just, I don't know. I watched a lot of badminton when I was younger because mm-hmm. you can pick up so much, so many little like things that they do really well that you want yeah. to implement in your game. That's how I looked at it. So it's more sure. like I would look at a player and I'd be like, okay, what about that? Can I be like, oh, I want to add that to my game and that'll make me so much better in mine. You know, that'll add a side of mine that they, they won't expect that they won't be ready for. And, yeah. but okay. And all this, I never really thought about badminton this deeply when I was playing. I'll, like mm-hmm. I'll say that like only towards the, the dawn experience really got me thinking about like like wow that was gut-wrenching that like really really pissed me off like I was about to break my racket on the court I, I was so close I remember it I remember uh-huh. it I was but but yeah. we do have to give props to Don he, he you know it, it does oh, take it does take that, mental like like, like, like no 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 I I, I saw Goku do it and I was like dude I like that sounds insane to go down from 2011 and win like I have nothing but respect for him. You have to understand that. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. Like in the general Bampton world, I have beautiful respect for him. I think he's one of the top players in terms of like speed and consistency. He's above everyone in his age. He is above everyone. He is yeah. way better than everyone in, in the way he manages is his speed. You would think like, yeah, it's very effortless how he moves the court and his what 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 allows him to do a lot i think is like he's just able to not make that many mistakes he understands himself he knows his balance he knows his limits and like yeah people like, like you should be striving for that he is he's is very on top of it very on top of it yeah yeah definitely um i think you know i totally agree with what you said about the bouncing players before they were a lot more physical and i i remember right. because i seen them train a lot of the older kids they were at z and then um they, they, they do lift weights and the, the people who train now, you know, we only like in, in, my, in Z, I can only yeah. speak for Z because, you know, I, I train there, you know, only me and then maybe Jeremy or like some of the, some of the, you know, top players, I guess they lift a little bit, but that's about it, you know? And, oh and yeah. We'd be lifting way more back then, bro. Like, yeah, I was in like 10, I was in like sixth grade, seventh grade squatting. Like what? Dude, but I, I just, wouldn't suggest. I wouldn't suggest like younger kids like lifting weights. Oh, but, you know, yeah, okay. Of, like for me, it's like okay. Of age. Like you really, you really gonna tell yourself you can't do it? Like I'd rather have someone else tell me not to do it than like like if I know that's gonna make me better. Yeah. Like, mm, mm, why isn't the thought to do it right? Yeah. Like, I think like back then, like like not even weight. Okay, I'll give you a very good example. Ankle weights and weight vests, we used to do those. Mm -hmm. That brought a sense of wanting to win in everything. Because you know what Coach Fu would do? He understood humans so beautifully. Like, this is why I think Coach Fu is like a level above. You have to understand. It's like, he understood that like people naturally, like you want to work harder when you have other people around you that are working too, right? Like, and so what he was like, the last person who does, who like comes in footwork, who finishes the set last, you got to do extra that's your punishment and there, there's no ifs buts about it you're either doing it or you're sitting out like i don't care does that make sense and yeah. by setting that like you either work hard or you don't that made everyone just be like okay i'm working hard because i don't want to be that one dude who's sitting out does that make sense yeah. and like that like and it we got lucky that i got really lucky that i had coach Fu. i'll be real like coach Fu is one of the most brilliant people i know brilliant brilliant you just talk to him he has like this funny outer layer no 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 he is so damn smart he is Mm -hmm. so damn smart like like okay when i've realized like as you like move on in life like the people around us there's so many like things like we can tap in and just learn you know like life isn't just about the winning per se even though that's such a big part of badminton I think more you're trying to learn these like habits that are good for later on in life. Like just uh, like just a simple example, like as 
not working hard during training same thing like happens to me like in school like we're like i just don't want to do homework like i just won't be submitting homework sentence because i just don't want to do it it's not important but it is important does that make sense like these yeah. little things add up to the big things in life and like once you understand that it makes you want to work on the little things more and that, it For took sure. me a while to understand it took me a while definitely definitely i think you yeah. know like you said coach was a brilliant man and, and he he's obviously done great things and definitely props to him for helping you you know become what you are right today and but what do you hope to see change in junior bounty because obviously you know in order for bounty be, to be more popular in the u.s okay yeah okay. one like kids gotta stop being like little babies like jesus christ man jesus christ man like mm-hmm. you really gonna cry because some kid calls you something man just call him something back just fire back like like the drive in the game is so embarrassing mm-hmm. like kids will be giving up in the court man like come on mm-hmm. come on yeah. we can't be at that no 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 there's no such thing as giving up on the court like yeah. if you give up on the court don't ever show up to them in my opinion like just yeah right unless the next one you're gonna go all out and that's how you're gonna approach it because it's like mm-hmm. you're just you're wasting everyone's time and you're building habits that are not good for you go do something you're passionate about literally just go do something go tell your parents i'm not passionate in this because you're lying to yourself and you're lying to everyone else and it's like it's not even that okay it's not even that because everyone does that we all go through that phase where we're trying to figure out what we're doing it's that you're like wasting time you could have done something and something you're actually interested in like if you don't want to win don't be there literally don't be there you're not going to win you're not it's it's cap if you yep. if you walk into that court and you don't have a drive to beat that other person don't just don't mm-hmm. just stop just stop it's like start training your mind to want to win and you'll you'll automatically do it it's that somewhere in your mind you're not tuning that right and it's like maybe winning is not your thing then cool don't think about it like that but i'm saying a lot of us where we do really want to win and it's sports like that is the essence of sports where you aim for that that number one then I say really put the diligence that it that it deserves. Don't don't take the shortcuts. Like, yeah, don't take the shortcuts. Like they they don't they trick you into thinking that you're gonna you're gonna get some reward, but you're not. Really like especially with physical, I felt like at least for me in my experience, I realized like I could have done so much more in that area. Physical was one area I just couldn't get myself to work hard. I was just like not. Nah. Like, this is just too much. You know what I mean? Like, how stupid is that? Because the physical is what allows you to use your arsenal well. Does that make sense? And little stuff like that, I'm I'm trying to undo that thinking in life right now. And it's like, you realize, like, yeah, you can can speed your whole process right now in life if you really there's one thing i would i want to emphasize keep your intention right like if your intention is to go there and want to win just go do it act like you are doing that does that make sense like yeah. people shouldn't have to tell you to do extra like that like the extra thing it's only for things where it's like you don't really want to do and they want you to do more no 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 there should be a definition of extra in sports where you're really passionate about because you should just intrinsically want it like I don't get it. Do you enjoy loot? Is, is loss enjoyful? No. It's like we should be aiming for that win and okay for the loss. It's okay that it happens and we'll learn from move on it, but you have to give it your all. You have to. Too many kids give up. Too many kids. I gave up sometimes, but it's like I minimized it as much. Like there were very few times I gave up on the court. Very mm-hmm. few, few, few. Like the one time I would say I'd do it and I literally got railed for it. I did that against Derek Hoop. First game was 21 16, second game was 21 5. I walked out of the game. You think my coach told me good job? Nah, he flamed me. But it's like, he was that comfortable with me and he was that comfortable with my potential to do that to me. And that's, yeah. that awoke something in me. Does that make sense? Yeah. Like, don't think about it as just you're, you're the, like, like you as the human being, you're receiving all this loss. No, work with your coach to make it more bearable. Like, mm-hmm. hey coach, like I know, cause your coach wants to help you. That's, a, I think a big thing people get wrong. No, no, your coach is there for you, man. Show them like you have that interest and they'll spark it in you. Like there were so many times where I asked coach food Badminton questions. I asked him this just to learn more about like the intuition behind the game and stuff like that, right? It's, there's so much we we don't do that are like that is related to success and i'm learning a lot of this from my parents like my parents did a lot of effort into like my success i'm not like yeah you obviously in the moment you like to think everything is you but no no no. there's so many factors that are outside your control that 
you think are outside your control, but you really can control them. You like, I'm, I'm telling you, if you ask your mom to drop you in training, cause you want to train, they are going to do it, man. Yeah. It's just that you never do that. It's always them being like, Oh, are you ready for training? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for that? No, switch the, switch the narrative. Can I go to training right now? Dude, they're going to drop you. Does that make sense? Like mm-hmm. parents want you to be doing stuff like this. It's just yeah. that they don't see you showing your own in- initiative. And, and that is just sad on both sides. Right. Mm-hmm. Cause they're trying to push you into something you don't want to do. And you're trying to like, tell them that you don't just tell them and be like, okay, I want to do something else or give it your hundred percent, which is what I think. Yeah. Don't be a, just don't, just don't. Yeah. It's just yeah. too much time. There's too little time in life to just like run away to be a like coward. That's what I think. Right? I think like your, you know, what you said about the, your, the parents is very like true. And um, your parents, obviously I've known them for a long time and you know, your mom and your dad, they're both super supportive of you. Your mom watches every single game, right? Your dad's always yeah. there in yeah. every single tournament. Your dad's hilarious, by the way. I love your dad. And, and yeah. Um, yeah. I see them watching game. They're super passionate about you and they, they want to support you. So I think, you know, kids need to dude, realize dude, that guys, parents guys. are there for you too. Parents are such a big blessing. Like, I don't know. I'm really, I'm realizing that this now because I'm going through a lot of stuff in life, but your parents are such a big, like access point. Like they give you so much information. They've like gone through so much. You can just like learn how to pick and choose what you think is very important. That's a very good skill to learn. Like I didn't, I don't know. It was, it's a very intense thing. Like when you're a child, you're always so annoyed at them. Oh, my parents are bothering me. They're doing this, they're doing that. But it's like, nah dude they're humans too and like they have gone through what you're going through in a different part of life so they're trying to explain that to you that's what you just have to understand (laughs) like yes they get they yell at you about your bams and this that like let it go they they just want you to win does that make sense it's like Mm -hmm. ah like yeah we're I think we can we can do so much better about how we're looking at them and how we're like approaching the whole game itself but I mean, I, I'm saying all this in retrospect, not like as I'm playing the sport, I wish I was, but like, mm-hmm. there's a lot of, I would say there's a lot of talents I'm really excited to see in BAMS. Like, I would say like Lauren, like Josh, Josh, Joshua Yang is crazy. Joshua yeah. Yang is like if Don had like skill, but less consistency, which is very mm-hmm. interesting, a very interesting combination, right? Mm-hmm. Because yeah, I can't see, I can't wait to see Josh and Don. I think Josh will be better. I mean, yeah, I think Josh will be way better. I think he has Josh- way more skill. Yeah, Josh right? was actually on the podcast. Josh was actually on the podcast, like a Josh was, yeah, ago. right, dude. He he is a monster. You can tell. I like that kid because he he lives on his own thing. He doesn't live like yeah. He has his own mind. He doesn't like yeah. He doesn't just like become someone. You know else who he game. reminds me of? Like who? you know who he reminds me of? Like like from the NBA? Like he reminds me of Damian Lillard. Mm. Like like that look on his face a little bit. What yeah, like? yeah, like a Damian. Yeah, a very you know much like a Damian Lillard, CP3, yeah. like these. Like, yeah. dude, I love it. I love, I love yeah. Joshua Yang. I love that kid. I love that kid. That kid is gonna do well. And he's he mentally so. really tough. Mentally tough. Very man. tough. Like, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. When I'm playing a lot of like younger kids in like badminton, like you can tell when they're scared of me when I play. I can tell it. I love it when they're not. Because you like the game is just so much more fun. It's a very intense game. It is a very intense game when the other person believes they can do it as much as I yeah. can. Does that make sense? Because I believe I'm I, I believe I'm gonna win, man. People have to understand this. I'm gonna say it over and over so people understand. I always think I'm gonna win. And so if someone else comes in the game with that much fire too, it's so it's so fun. It's as yeah. if like we're reinventing as we're playing. We're not like stagnating because that's enough to win no 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 we're trying so hard to win we're redefining how we play and yeah. yeah i love playing against people like that that want it as bad like william who he's good he's good i don't know like i think i think cap it's all cap but like yeah it's like what do you what do you think is like the best um player right now in junior bound 